It's 3.30 a.m. and our flight's at 9, but I've got to drive all the way to London right now to get to Barcelona because we're going to go and film with this phone. have landed in Barcelona for what is going to be a very short trip. Right behind me you can see the La Sagrada Familia. Is that right Mitch? We'll go with it. Well, we're currently filming on the Renault 8 Pro. It's a brand new device. Let's test out this phone's camera. So location number two, and I should have brought my sunnies with me because it is reflecting off absolutely everything. So a couple of takeaways so far with this camera, the slow motion is insane, up to 960 FPS. But the main one is the stabilization. This is handheld right now and it looks really smooth. Now here's a little bit of color. See what the actual sensor's making of all this color on here. Absolutely nothing. Gone, gone, gone. Gone. In fact, I think it's time for La Quinta. What's La Quinta? The bill. Oh. checking out some of the main sort of attractions here. We've seen some pretty cool stuff, had some amazing lunch, but now the main attraction, we're suited and booted, ready for Barcelona versus... Bayern Munich. Who do you think is going to win? I hate to say it, but 3-1 Bayern. I suppose we're going to find out. Let's take this phone and hopefully get some good clips. What are we saying? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic views. I'll show you this in a minute, but honestly, what an opportunity. I want to say thanks to Oppo for sending me here with this new phone. It's been great shooting with it today, and hopefully, we're going to have a great
friends and especially people in the comments always ask me is Alex, what camera should I get to start making videos online? And honestly, the one in your pocket in this day and age is absolutely fine. With my videos, and if you've watched me a lot in the past, you know that getting the shot and the actual camera quality and the visuals is one of my narratives. You know, I came doing production into YouTube and that is where I started. But now, these phones are getting that good. Inside of this Oppo that we've been shooting with, there's some Sony sensors, right? Sony sensors are what is in the main camera that I'm filming with right now. And I absolutely love Sony stuff. So the majority of the shots that you saw from this phone were filmed in 4K with HDR turned on and they've actually got a processor in here called Mari Silicon X which is basically a processor dedicated to making the cameras look and feel ace whilst you use them and you've got other benefits like we shot with 960 frames per second out of a phone. Honestly, awesome shooting with this and I wouldn't recommend anybody need anything more. What next? House tour? House tour. You ready? Yeah. House tour. Right then, when are you ready? Yeah? Yeah. Is it rolling? Yeah. I honestly don't really know what to say because I wasn't actually going to make this sort of house tour video. But the main thing I'm happy about is my dog Atlas now has a garden to run around in, which is great. But yeah, welcome, welcome to the new house and studio as well because everything is sort of all in one plot. So let's take a look around. So I've had loads of work done to the place already. This brick wall here, you couldn't even see it. The bushes came out to here. So I've had it all taken out. The previous owners really weren't gardeners. But this is the top floor of the studio and it's just like a really weird, long room. I don't really know what to do with it. Jed, give it a swirl. You can just see how long this place is. What is this? And the entirety of this garden was basically just filled with overgrown bushes. So I've had some guys come in and they've taken it all out and stripped it back. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. There's honestly so much work that I need to do, but we have plenty of time because I don't see myself moving from this place for ages. So this is the conservatory that leads onto the studio. As you can see, there is stuff from the event I have just run. I'm now running an event and it's called Summit, as you can see right there. And uh, yeah, here's some pictures from our Halloween do. Everybody really enjoyed it, which was awesome. But yeah, this is the this is going to be the studio. Toilet there. It needs a lot of work doing. So this was a uh, a dance studio. So people like learn to dance in here. In fact, take that. Learn how to dance in this very room, which is really cool. This is the studio. Carpet to come. It's a necessity. So none of these doors actually work. You have to like boot your way in. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be the storage room. Like I say, it's so much work I'm, has to happen. I need to rip all of these walls down and fresh paint and everything. It's gonna be a while until this is as I want it, basically. And by the way, like this uh, is completely bonkers. Like I still come back here and I'm just like, I honestly don't believe it. I've been here a couple of months now and it's only starting really now to set in. Just wanna say a massive thanks for all the support over the years. Like. It is just nuts, bonkers, I can't comprehend it. So yeah, thank you very much guys. Um, this is the outside bit, driveway. There's like a double garage there, which I'm gonna turn maybe into like a workshop or something like that. So this is the kitchen. You can see some sort of staple pieces from my last house, like the Who Made The Rules, the TV there. And then I absolutely love this like skylight area and I put some awesome lights around here, which uh, I'll put some B-roll shots over there. Look ace at night. That's a utility room. Dining room, no windows in here, mind, but this is one of my favorite things. I now have a log burner, so yeah, I can burn logs. <laughs> Basically, Atlas' shower, so I can make sure he's looking all sweet. And then this is gonna be like my music room because I really wanna try and get into music. Like, obviously, with my creative mind, I've always done videos, but... <laughs> Just trying to get into music, so I've got a little MIDI keyboard there. My friend Mitch's keyboard's there, so he's brought that over. So yeah, massive, uh, huge, massive storage space. So this was like a new extension on the house, not that I did, but that the previous people did. So then, when you come through here, this is the old house. Take a look down here, this is a bit funky and also a little bit scary. Just peek, peek down there. So there's like a proper underground cellar that goes all the way down there and stuff. Pretty freaky. I usually keep this door locked because I'm not a fan of that. This is going to be a games room, I think. So I'm going to put like a pool table and a darts board and like a little bit of a bar uh, in here. And then in this room, which is uh, here, um, this is the lounge area type thing. Like I say, still moving in. Don't really know where to put things yet, but this is what I've just managed to come up with in the last sort of two months. Uh, and yeah, that's basically the bottom floor. 
If you come up here, there's this really weird room, which is sort of just a bit, I don't know, don't really know what to do with it. I think I'm going to turn it into like a big walk-in wardrobe forward slash cloak room or something along those lines. Big room here, and then old Henry's just doing a good job there. Spare room there, that is uh, basically a spare room. My bedroom. And I swear the people that built this house were really, really drunk because look how uncentral that fireplace is. Like my plan was to put a TV up here, but I can't put the TV in the middle because the fireplace is like eh, eh. So I don't like, I think this just needs to come out. Little walk-in wardrobe there with a, just a few bits hanging around. And then this is one of my favorite rooms, uh, the main bathroom of the house, which I absolutely love. Um, it has an ace bath, which I am yet really to use. I thought I'd get a lot more use out of it, but I just honestly have not found the time. So uh, yeah, there's a bathroom here um, and a shower which is the shower that I use. This is like, this is basically where I spend the majority of my time. This is my desk, which is currently in bits at the moment because I need to put some new monitors on here, but this is where I've been spending time gaming when I actually get a spare couple of seconds. Uh, cinema, I think. I think we're gonna have a big screen that comes down here. And I think this room just calls for a load of bean bags on the floor. And like I say, a big screen that comes down there to cover those shelves up. And then that's pretty much it. I literally honestly wasn't gonna make this video, but the amount of comments that I got on social media, Alex, please give us a house tour. So I thought I'd just do it for you guys so you could see what we're working with. And honestly, I just need some sort of help with what to do with the rooms. This is like, as Jed said earlier, it's very bare bones, very skeleton. So just need some ideas. Uh, I won't keep you two minutes. I'm it's all right. Regarding what was I saying? I have no idea, something about something. So any ideas guys, let me know in the uh, in the comment section down below, I think is what I was saying. And I also want to say huge thanks to Oppo for taking us to Barcelona and letting us see around the area and taking us to the football as well. That was ace. More videos to come now. I'm settled in here. I need to finish off the beta squad stuff as well because that's taking a lot of my mental energy at the moment. But yeah, my name's been Alex and I will uh, see you in the next one. Peace.